This is a video on how to create and drive a brake line within a drawing in DriveWorks Solo. Once you're in SolidWorks and have a project open within DriveWorks Solo, go to your captured models section header and open up a drawing with a brake line in it by double clicking on it. In this case, I'm going to select the cupboard post drawing. Once it opens, you can see the brake line in the drawing, but in the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer to the right, the brake line has not been selected. Check this box to capture the brake line and also click on the word brake line 1 to highlight it. This should bring up the brake line information, such as the distance from the left and the distance from the right. You can see for both of these values, they are 55.94, so I'll round up and call it 56. Click on refresh and save in the DriveWorks Solo command bar and then open up the project designer. Now drill down to the covered post drawing that we captured the brake line from earlier. Put a check in the box next to it which will display its caption information to the right in the rules list and highlight the drawing cupboard post to bring up the captured drawing information below. Here you can see that the brake line distance information is also displayed. The brake line features now appear and allow you to build rules within them and drive the distance from left and right of where the brake line starts on the edges of the part of the drawing. Brake line distance 1 refers to the distance from the left and brake line distance 2 refers to the distance from the right. As both of my brake line distances are the same, I will highlight brake line 1 and 2, click on build and type in 56 to the rules builder, then click OK to accept the rule. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo or visit the online help file which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.